All right, everyone, welcome back to Survivor 41. We're here. Shan is not, though, which is sad. The last time we had the tragic fall of Shan, almost like a Shakespearean tragedy. Uh, the day I was dreading for so long, and, and oddly enough, it wasn't as sad as I expected it to be, but it was beautiful, it was artistic, it was drama, it was everything. Great maneuver by Ricard. Great move by Erica, which I didn't give enough uh, credit or give enough attention to at the time either. The fact that she made it a 3-3 split to protect herself in the event that Shan used her idol. Which, I mean, she had no idea. It was a true blind side, so that wasn't going to happen anyway, but just in case. Um, but man, I'm looking forward to the spicy drama to, to continue from here. Because you know we have the Danny and Deshaun together. We have Heather and Erica together, and then we have Liana and Xander as kind of two wild card elements, two that have been feuding and, and wanting each other out for some time now, but now Liana was left out of this, and uh, you could tell in the preview that she felt betrayed at least. Who knows if they somehow get over that, but I mean, obviously, she's going to want to seek revenge. This is a natural thing she's going to want to do, and she's that kind of player where trying to get revenge for Shan. That might be her story now from here on out. We'll see. Uh, but this this uh, season and this game is, is wild. So like every, on any given vote, the tie can shift dramatically. It's hard to say who's in the best position now because oh, I didn't even mention Ricard. Ricard's kind of like in the middle of it all. Danny and Deshaun were already willing to uh, turn on Ricard potentially. They already know how much of a threat he is. So it's probably going to come down to whether Danny Deshaun could swing people over against him or if Ricard can swing people over against Deshaun. Uh, so that'll be interesting to see. And like the Xander and Liana of it all are also just other elements. Xander's just been a free agent, lone soldier for some time now. So like, can he find a foothold in this game or not? Or is he just going to keep not playing his idol for the rest of time? I don't know. But I'm excited for it. As always, you can click the link in the description to see the highlights of my reaction and then come back afterwards for a little bit of a discussion, okay? Okay, no wonder that vote was so crumpled. <laughs> I was like, what? why was that crumpled? It was the extra vote he'd been holding on to all this time. Um, okay, that makes sense. Xander, I think, was literally just doing that to counteract Erica. I didn't even think of that that element because it. Erica did say she was the swing, but actually, that that vote could have made the difference, even if she did swing the other way. Wow! Uh, wow! 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 What a oh, an amazing episode! They had me crying out here. You can't be crying out here. That's the beautiful. What a beautiful survivor like moment. The whole tribal council was beautiful. The do or die twist. Okay, so I was really annoyed at this idea. Um, obviously, you hate for you know, someone's game to go down to a chance, um, but it's not like it would have been aw awful, awful, all time awful if Jeff did that. Like, like what they did when they won the, that challenge and he took it away from them, the hourglass. If he did that with this, where it was like, oh well, you didn't know this, but the first one out is gonna have to play a game of chance to whether they survive or not. No, at least he, they knew about it, so they took that risk. They knew it was literally a do or die game of chance they would go into. So that's crazy to me that so many of them did that. Because I get, I get the people like Xander, and I guess the Sean maybe too could be confident that they're usually they last pretty long in challenges. But I would never be that confident enough in just balancing a ball that I wouldn't be the first one out just on like some random thing and. It, seconds into the challenge he was out so case in point the game down to a game of chance a one in three chance a one in three chance tell me the logic like jeff is really trying to find some stupid people out here with the uh i'm gonna show one of the the boxes and he shows it the skull it's like okay now you know that one of the two boxes left is the fire now do you want to switch no, why would I switch? It was still going to be the case. Either way, you were going to show one skull because there's two skulls. <laughs> but that's crazy. I was getting actually vibes from that left box too. So we're on the same wavelength there. And by a game of chance, Dan Deshaun gets another chance in this game. What's crazy to me is I, I really underestimated how disastrous a move that could be for Deshaun 
And Danny potentially. Like I thought they were so much more well insulated than that for some reason. It never even crossed my mind that them taking out Shan would just literally be their downfall, which it very well could be. Because now they took out Liana. Which presumably it would have been Deshaun if he did not take that chance, which is even more wild. So like if they didn't have that twist, it probably would have been Deshaun going ironically. <laughs> so because he would have been first out in the challenge and just like he would have been vulnerable, that's all. So that's wild to think about. Because the fact they didn't go after Ricard makes me think that, okay, Erica's on board with that and now we might just be steamrolling the rest of them. We might, I mean, Deshaun's very likely the next one on the chopping block here. And then Danny, we, like they don't mention Danny, but he is on the bottom now. And now with this preview, potentially getting an idol, maybe. They showed like Deshaun trying to work stuff with Erica and whatnot, but I don't know how real any of that is. Xander. I remember listening to podcasts and stuff leading up to this. And it's like, Xander's got to use his idol, right? At this point, he's just got to. Just, <laughs> it's just the odds are. But suddenly he, he said at the beginning of the episode... I thought it was going to be a red herring and like maybe Xander goes out this episode, but he was like, oh, well, now I'm, now I'm chilling. I'm in an alliance. <laughs> I'm calling the, sh he said he's calling the shots, I think. He's not really calling the shots, but much more powerful position than what he was. And he didn't even feel a risk at all. There's no need to use the idol. So he's going to hold on to that shit, take it all the way to the bank. He did use the extra vote though, so I guess... That tells me he probably wasn't confident in Erica's choice there. So he did say she was squirmish. So he wanted to make sure Liana goes because <laughs> that feud, they're just, they were gunning for each other the whole time. Ultimately, Liana got got. <laughs> Xander, Xander wins out in that, that battle for now. Oh, beautiful stuff though. I loved everything they gave us. Like, this is Beautiful Survivor. They had to twist shenanigans in it, which I don't like. I wish they could cut back on that because it would have been fine without it. Look, it was spicy. It was spicy. Um, so I'm not pissed at the twist in that like they knew about it and they were actually willing to risk a, a, a game of chance just for a, a chance to win immunity. I think that was a really bad decision from all the players who chose to play in the immunity, in my personal opinion. Because it just as easily could have been any of them that just went, like, oh, 30 seconds in and dropped it, but... And then your chances are much worse than if you just didn't play in that immunity challenge. So for me, that's the, it was a no-brainer. Don't participate in that. But I'm saying, it, it, like, I'm not pissed at the, the twist because they knew about it. So in that sense, it was spicy. But again, like, we saw the best parts of this episode were all, like, the things we love about Survivor. Even though Liana said, because she's predicting, you know, like, not only is there a lot of weight on their shoulders, like... There's a lot they have to carry playing this game. Um, but they also are obviously thinking about how the crowd or how the audience is going to receive things. And no matter, like, even if overwhelmingly it's in support of you, there's going to be a large contingency of people who are just like, oh my god, this is not my survivor. Get this out of my survivor. But I don't think, I, I really don't care for those people because this is obviously, like, the beauty of survivor. And it's a real conversation. So if you're not, wanna, if you don't want to hear real things like it's not going to just be all game like so much of the modern era or of survivor is game 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 but that's the beauty and I, that's why i've loved about the seasons they've integrated a little better than they have in a couple seasons past like actual raw emotion and feelings they're dealing with like everything with the core four and how they're dealing with the shan vote and everything i loved the deshaun's breaking down a tribal was so good and i loved the whole discussion they had <clears throat> really gr valuable stuff getting able to being able to hear from all of them and then also hear from Xander too is cool um I loved it in the beginning Danny's little like we get some emotion from Danny and a more back backstory for Danny here this is the 25th anniversary of his father's death and how he's been like dealing with those emotions because usually he keeps himself busy during this time and Survivor, you just can't keep busy. So that's that was really interesting and to have that pay off with winning the immunity challenge and an emotional win. There's so much good stuff in this episode. You know, I'm honestly out on, like, people's... There were people that were talking down on the season a few episodes in, but I'm really, I'm really high on this season, I think. The twists are obviously the thing that are, like... They're throwing kinks in it. It's almost like the twists are trying to mess up a good game, but 
like the players are making it so fun in spite of it you know uh like the hourglass stuff like i don't want that in my in my survivor i really don't i would would love like the summit moment the the brilliant strategy like that's also coming with it like that just comes without the twists and all of that get that other shit out of my survivor like don't go to ship wheel island I, i don't want it i don't want it stop with the twists it's like they don't understand their own game sometimes. And so, and Jeff in his tribal council is like making these revelations. Like, oh man, I'm still learning stuff about this game from you guys. You guys are great. But he's also thrilled. Anytime someone gives him a hint of being like, like Xander was like, I love that this is a new version of Survivor is like uh, throwing everything you know out the window. And he's like, oh, I love that. This is what I want to hear. Okay, I'm back on track. More twists next season. It's like that kind of shit, but... In terms of, like, the season overall, the cast is excellent and, like, so many brilliant episodes and moments. Uh, it's really well done. So, I mean, I'm grateful for it. I, uh, yeah, this is crazy that that Shanvo could be their demise, actually, which is kind of even more Shakespearean. You know, it's like the Shakespearean tragedy that led to Shan's demise and then potentially um, could lead to the rest of the black players being voted out, too, which would be awful because it really is like Leona said they're cannibalizing themselves but here's the thing this Sean is going to have a very hard path to the end it's final six so if we do have the final four fire making you only have to make it two more votes so that's true but I don't think they will let Deshaun make it there that being said Ricard is still a target too so there are some things you could do like maybe win an immunity and then get like Ricard as a potential one to go for like, with that being said, Danny definitely could get there. I want to see, like, if Deshaun got voted out next tribal, I would love to see how he plays, like, as a lone man trying to integrate himself with other people because he hasn't really had to do that. He's been pretty well insulated the whole time, and then he's had shields with, like, Shan and Deshaun, and, like, no one's looked at him at all. So I would love to see him in that position. And even so, there are a couple of people that are, like, big targets that could potentially keep him safe still even if Deshaun goes so it's like I'm really interested to see how it goes now and now you have this like little contingency of the bottom which is like Heather Xander Erica and Ricard <laughs> they kind of really upended the the tea table here but nothing is set in stone for sure so I'm so excited to see more love that episode Oof, I was actually crying mm-hmm there's something I respect so much about, like, men who can be so vulnerable like that, because there's really not many of them. So I really respect that from Deshaun, because he's very, like, he wears his heart on his sleeve kind of thing. Like, even just in the confessionals, even though that's a private thing, he had that moment, and I respect that a lot, too. Um, you, tell, you can tell he's got a lot of heart, and he does love this game. Like, everybody seems to love this game. And he's got a good head for the game, too. He's been doing well, even though, like, Ricard has been commenting he was getting sloppy with some stuff. But Danny is definitely much less emotional, but he's still, like, I love, he seems like a great guy. And he's, like, just always being supportive when you never, whenever you see him. You never really see him get angry or, like, disrespectful with anybody. He's just, like, so I really do love this cast, um. Xander's been a pleasure to watch, obviously. I've, I've loved watching Xander way more than I expected, like, especially going into the season. He was, like, the uh, the pretty boy, just kind of... I'm like, okay, he wants to be the next uh, next Ozzy Malcolm kind of thing. I'm like, all right, I guess. But he really delivered way more than I thought he would. And he's shown some heart, too. Like, I love when people can learn lessons from these kinds of things. Kind of like the whole Jack and Jamal uh, conversation in Island of the Idols. That little moment. I love stuff like that, too. And Erica's really coming into her own. I said a few, a couple of episodes ago that uh, Erica seemed to be, like, dead in the water. Heather and Erica. Heather, I definitely think so. She probably will be the th- zero-vote finalist, if anything. But Erica is coming into her own for sure. Um, I didn't give her enough credit. I still don't know if I see a winner in her, a winner in her, but uh, I don't know. It could it could be a surprising little underdog story for sure. Ricard, I've loved watching. Obviously, he's 
he is like the man to beat now, I guess. So we'll see if that catches up to him or if he actually is able to keep this four together, in which case it's not hard to find himself in the end and uh, he could have a shot here. So at this point, there's so many like ways it could go and I wouldn't really be mad at any of them because I've loved watching it. I've loved watching all of them. And uh, man, what a journey it's been to get where we are. What do we got left? We got Danny, Deshaun, Heather, Erica, Xander, Danny, Deshaun, Heather, Erica, Xander, Ricard. <laughs> okay, so we've got Danny, Deshaun, Heather, Erica, four Luvu, one Yasa, and one Ua. Okay, interesting. It's so interesting because in the very beginning of the season, it was like all Ua with a little bit of Yasa, and we didn't get much from Luvu, but we've really, like these... These top dogs from Luvu have really given us a lot since then. So I love that the season has kind of really moved where, and given us more than when they, when we needed to get more from them. That's great. All right, that's it. That's it for this episode. I'm really looking forward to next week. We're getting down to it. I wonder how many episodes there will be in the season. Because traditionally, next episode would have been like the finale, right? The final six so I don't know. It seems like they're doing a departure from that because we're only episode 11 right now. So we'll see. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out one of our other videos. Like, for example, our review of Survivor Pearl Islands. Check that out. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to our podcast feed. Like the video. Leave a comment. Hit the notification bell. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. And like us on Facebook. Tarkaron T-W-O. All right.